May we have a roll call, please? Mr. Corman? Here. Mr. Bavoni? Here. Ms. Perez? Here. Mr. McIrvin? Here. Ms. Switchy? Here. Mr. Person? Here. Mr. Print? Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, all present. Thanks, Jason. First item on the agenda is administrative report, Mr. Covington. Just a couple of things, uh, Mr. Mayor and Council and uh, those listening in tonight. We wanted to just uh, remind folks that we have our annual uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinner for seniors at the Renton Senior Center this uh, uh, this Thursday on Thanksgiving. So folks who are interested can certainly stop by and we guarantee you a nice hot meal. Um, on Saturday, uh, we're having our annual holiday tree lighting at the Piazza Park in downtown Renton. Um, that's a new date. Usually we, it's moved up a week. We do this to uh, combine it with Small Business Saturday. There, there's several celebrations planned by the Renton Downtown Partnership uh, and Piazza Renton. Uh, the uh, events begin about 10 a.m. You can shop local Renton businesses for special holiday gifts and make your way back to the park around 3 p.m. We'll have activities and events there. At five o'clock, we will have the tree lighting ceremony. So hope people will come along <clears> for that. Um, and uh, we've got traffic input. I'm trying to think now if I need to look at my calendar. By the is we don't meet again, or we may not meet again before we need to just remind people about clam lights. I think which is. <laughs> Yeah, you're right, it'd be December 2nd. Okay, good, yeah. So that, yeah, so folks, uh, please <clears throat> come out on Friday, the 2nd of December um, for uh, our uh, Clam Lights event that uh, I think we begin around seven o'clock or so. The lights go up about seven. Yeah, that's when the lights, right? uh, there'll be some activity before that. Before that. Um, <clears throat> and then the light, the lightnings that, that seven and the Christmas ships seven will be there shortly after. 7.30, I think, yeah, and then uh, with the uh, yeah, so hope folks can come out on those two events. Um, we continue to have traffic uh, improvements even this late in the year. We continue to try to work on some things, so just uh, pay attention as you drive through those and be safe. That's all, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Covington. Next item is audience comments. We have one person signed up to address the council, Howard McComber. Let's see if I can make this. <clears throat> Uh, this, I'm Howard McComber. I live in the city of Renton. Uh, that's a picture of some people serving a meal. Some of you will, some of you will recognize some of our folks that come. What we have this is week. This uh, week coming up is Reach Awareness Week. Uh, many of you have helped us tremendously in the past, but this is, and I realize they're preaching to the choir. But in the city, we have a lot of needs, and all of us join together and help as we can. And in REACH, we have, uh, by the blessings of this group, thank you, Mayor, uh, we have a place that we can feed people every night at 5.30, Monday through Thursday, we do it at the Salvation Army, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we'll be doing it, actually, is it all right to say it? at the Chamber of Commerce building again, the old Chamber of Commerce building, 300 on Rainier Avenue, right between the airport, Renton Airport and Rainier. There's only one building there, that's it. And at 5.30 on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you can come for a meal and you can <coughs> come down to the Salvation Army, the same group are feeding there. And we are working hard to get our breakfast back. This is actually a shot of our breakfast guys. And we've had to, scale back where we're trying to move forward on this. We have a program at REACH that we're asking people if they'd like to contribute a dollar a week. That's four dollars about the we can we have it set up if you go to REACH Renton which is our website just Google and REACH Renton or or Renton Ecumenical it'll come up and it has their directions on how to um, donate a dollar a week that helps go to feeding people and taking care of them and trying to provide support for the people who are at the very bottom of the level who if they if they don't have help are really in in deep trouble. We do have a shelter at Harambe for in the evening for mothers and fathers and their children so they don't have to sleep under the bridge or in the bushes. 
Um, we have no shelter yet for men in Renton. So what you see for the weather out there, those guys are going to be spending the night in it. <coughs> but we are working on all that. What we do is we do what we can. We support where we can, and we appreciate all the help we can get. If you have any questions at all, you can also call Howard McComber. I'm in every book, but I'm happy to take calls. Uh, I work with the, us as a member of the REACH board on this. This is my part. And Maggie couldn't come tonight, so I'm setting it for her. But want to thank you for your support uh, for helping the REACH charities. Thank you. Thank you, Howard. <clears throat> Thanks for all your hard work. We appreciate it. Okay, uh, was there anybody else who wanted to address the council that didn't get a chance to sign up? Okay. Uh, moving on to the consent agenda, we have seven items for council consideration. Are there any items that council member like pulled for discussion? Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Corman. I move approval of the consent agenda as published. Second. To move by Mr. Corman, seconded by Mr. Pavoni, that council concur with the consent agenda. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Moving on to unfinished business, Mr. Corman. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Okay. Mayor. Um, okay. Uh, let's see, Mr. Pavoni. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Um, um, I think actually, you, you do. Committee of committees. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do have one committee report to be read. Okay, committee of committees, committee report. I don't have the 2017 council committee assignments. The Committee on Committees recommends the following Council Committee assignments for 2017. Finance meets the second and fourth Mondays at 4.30 p.m. Uh, Don Person Chair, Ed Prince Vice Chair, Caroline Witchy Member. Public Safety Committee meets the second and fourth Mondays at 5.30 p.m. Uh, Randy Corman Chair, Don Person Vice Chair, Ed Prince Member. Community Services Committee meets the first and third Mondays at 5.30 p.m. Carol Ann Witchy, Chair, Ryan McIrvin, uh, excuse me, Ryan McIrvin, Vice Chair, Ruth Perez, Member. Utilities Committee meets second and fourth Thursdays at 3.30 p.m. Ryan McIrvin, Chair, Ruth Perez, Vice Chair, Randy Corman, Member. Planning and Development Committee meets the second and fourth Thursdays at 4 p.m. Ed Prince, Chair, Randy Corman, Vice Chair, Ryan McIrvin, Member. <coughs> Transportation Committee, uh, first and third Mondays at 4.30 p.m. Ruth Perez, Chair, Carol Ann Witchy, Vice Chair, Don Person, Member. This is signed by the uh, committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Bavoni. It's always uh, fun trying to juggle everybody's schedules and desires for uh, committees, uh, what they want to be on and uh, what they're looking for. But I think we did a good job this year. And with that, I move that the council concur with the recommendations of the committee on committee um, committee. Second. <laughs> <laughs> moved I, by, I have a question. Okay, it's been moved by Mr. Pavoni, second by Mr. Prince. The council concur with the committee on committees report. Uh, Ms. Perez. Thank you. Um, which I highly appreciate what the uh, council member Pavon had said, and, and, and I know how hard is this job, and I know I understand. I have never been in this committee before in my life, so I don't know how exactly it works. But um, say that in order for my own understanding better and to know how to do it better next year. When I was requested to send what were my priorities, which were, were the, the committees that I wanted to um, be on, and then they also told me that the reason the way you do it, the way it's also is picked by seniority. So one of my question is that I, my first, of course, my first pick was, was transportation, but my other picks were between finance and planning and development. And, and, and what I understand how hard it was to do this, I was assigned to utilities and community services. My question is why just one of the choices that I requested, um, uh, I'm not even a member of the other ones, specifically finance. So I open it up to. I don't uh, know how to how to describe this. Well, I mean, there, there's a, a <clears throat> lot of moving pieces in here. It's not just about trying to fit your spot in, um, because if we if we move your three around, we're going to move somebody else's around. It's a little bit of a game of trying to figure out how to um, to get everything, everybody, what everybody wanted, plus at the same time make sure that we have three members on each committee. So mm -hmm. each time we move somebody, it 
affects everybody else. So, I mean, it's it's fairly common. I mean, you, if I'm not mistaken, you got your your chair position, which was transportation, and then your fourth choice was utility. So you got your first first and fourth fourth choice, um, and most people got their everybody got their first choice, mm -hmm. um, and then from there it was. Um, some people got their second and some people got their third choice and then the member one was just up in the air so uh, and, and i understand that this is not a, uh, this is not me wanted to be in every single committee i am asking about the process that you are explaining it so what you're telling me that i check the priorities of everybody else it's going to be the same for everybody else the process for everybody else mm -hmm. yes absolutely yeah. okay thank you yeah okay it's been moved and second to approve the committee on committees report any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Okay, let's see. Um, moving to Ms. Perez. I'm sorry, I didn't vote aye. I was nay. Oh, okay, we have one nay. Did you receive that? Okay. <clears throat> okay, um, moving on. Ms. Perez on um, unfinished business. Yeah, I have one transport. No, not one. Yes, I have one transportation committee. One report, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Transportation <laughs> Aviation Committee Committee Report. The amendment uh, 316 to lease LAG 1305 with Landing Gear Works uh, LLC. The Transportation Aviation Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to authorize the mayor and city clerk to execute amendment 316 to LAG 13005. Uh, with Landing Gear Works LLC for a net revenue increase of $9,175.06 per year and approve an increase of 2,020 square feet of office space and 1,474 square feet of storage space in the 295 East Perimeter Road building at the, at the airport. This is uh, signed by the committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Ms. Perez. I move that council concur with the recommended action of the Transportation Committee. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Perez, second by Ms. Witchy, that council concur with the Transportation Aviation Committee report. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. Mr. McIrvin. Uh, no unfinished business, Ms. Mayor. Okay, Ms. Witchy. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Person. Well, Mr. Mayor, you know, time for the Finance Committee to have three reports. Okay, the first Finance Committee Committee report, reclassifications general. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the salary grade adjustment of the Water Utility Maintenance Sur Supervisor to grade A23E of, uh, and D of Derek Ackerson, Civil Engineer 3, to the position of Principal Civil Engineer at grade A32D and the Benefits Manager to the position of Human Resources Benefits Manager at grade M30E. All reclassifications will be effective <coughs> January 1st, 2017. The recommendation to reclass these positions is supported by an internal equity analysis and review of the position's scope of responsibilities and duties. This is signed by the committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Person. I move the council <coughs> concur in the recommendation of the finance committee. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Person, second by Mr. Corman. The council concur with the finance committee report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, the next report is regarding the 2017 Group Health uh, Medical Coverage Agreements. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the 2017 Group Health Cooperative Medical Coverage Contracts for all active employees and left one retirees in the total amount of $216,080. Funding has been provided for in the 2017 proposed budget, signed by the committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Person. I move the council concur in the recommendation of the Finance Committee. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Person, second by Mr. Pavoni, that council concur with the Finance Committee report. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, the final Finance Committee report is regarding the 2017 Healthcare Management Administrator's contract. The Finance Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to approve the 2017 Healthcare Management Administrators. HMA and Envision RX agreements for all active employees and left one retirees for medical, dental, and prescription claims processing in the total amount of $232,116. Funding has been provided for in the 2017 proposed budget. This is signed by the committee chair and members. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Person. <coughs> I move the council concur <coughs> in the recommendation of the Finance Committee. Second. 
Been moved by Mr. Person, seconded by Mr. Pavoni, that council concur with the Finance Committee report. All in favor and oh, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, uh, Mr. Prince. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Corman. Um, before we leave unfinished business, can I have one go back? Mr. Sure, sure. Um, so I don't, I don't have a report from tonight's committee to whole uh, meeting, but we did look at the proposals for the uh, 200 Mill Avenue building. And, um, you know, I, I, I appeared the council has complete uh, consensus to go forward with the <coughs> Winston proposal. I, I didn't know if there was any formal action we needed. So I think we'll prepare a committee report for the December 5th meeting, I believe. Okay. So. Our, um, I'm just going to ask uh, our city attorney, um, could there be a motion to uh, direct the administration to work fo move forward with negotiations on the sales and purchase agreement on 200 mil? Or should that come through a committee report? Uh, it could certainly be, there could be an open motion for that if you wanted to do that. And you know, I think I'd like to do that just to formalize it and um, is, if now an okay time? I, yeah, I, it make, makes sense, <clears throat> since it's unfinished business, so we'd be moving that business effectively out of the um, um, committed the whole into the council and um, as such I would move that um, that we adopt the, um, the staff recommendation to um, pursue the Winson proposal and uh, start uh, working on an exclusive uh, agreement with Winson on that property. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Mr. Corman, seconded by Mr. Pavoni that council uh, adopt the staff's recommendation to move forward with the Winson company to discuss the possible sale and purchase agreement on 200 mil. Any Mr. Further? Yes. Mr. Mayor, if I come, just looking to see if there's anything uh, specific that we might want to add to that motion. Um, sorry, it took me a while to get this no. called up. So, um, yeah, I think if the if the motion is, as I understood it, uh, to just to authorize staff to enter into exclusive negotiations with Winston. That's correct. That'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Any uh, questions or further discussion? All in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I, uh, there was nothing, Mr. Prince? No. Okay, <clears throat> moving on to legislation. We have four resolutions and seven ordinances mm -hmm. for second and final reading, and Jason is okay. really excited about it. I'm going to read fast. <laughs> okay. A resol uh, the first resolution is regarding the demolition of uh, some properties that for <clears throat> the subset area. So. A resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, authorizing the Mayor and City Clerk to enter into an interlocal agreement with the Renton Housing Authority regarding demolition of certain properties in the Sunset Revitalization Area. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Prince. I move that the council, the resolution be adopted as read. Second. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Corman, that this resolution be adopted as read. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. The next resolution is regarding uh, adoption of uh, uh, capital facility plans for school districts. A resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, adopting by reference the current capital facilities plans for the Kent, Issaquah, and Renton school districts. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Prince. I move that the resolution be adopted as read. Second. Second. Been moved by Mr. Pr uh, Prince, seconded by Mr. Pavoni, that this resolution <laughs> be adopted as read. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. The next resolution is uh, adopting uh, impact fees for transportation. A resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, adopting by reference the rate study for impact fees for transportation dated July 5, 2016. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Prince. I move that the resolution be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Corman that this resolution be adopted as read. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. And the final resolution is amending the fee schedule. Resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, amending the City of Renton fee schedule. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Prince. I move the resolution be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Corman, that this resolution <coughs> be adopted as read. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, the ordinances, all of them are for second and final reading. Uh, the first one is regarding uh, property tax. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, establishing the property tax levy for the year 2017 <clears throat> for general city operational purposes in the amount of $24,200,000. Mr. Mayor. 
Yes, Mr. Person. I move the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. Been moved by Mr. Person, seconded by Mr. Pavoni that this ordinance be adopted as read. Requires a roll call. Mr. Corman. Aye. Mr. Pavoni. Aye. Ms. Perez. Aye. Mr. McIrvin. Aye. Ms. Switchy. Aye. Mr. Person. Aye. Mr. Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. The ayes have it. Next ordinance is uh, regarding gambling tax amendments. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 585 of Chapter 8, Gambling Tax of Title V, Finance and Business Regulations of City Code, providing an exemption for gambling tax imposed on gross receipts from bingo games and raffles conducted by certain bona fide charitable or nonprofit organizations. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Mr. Person. I move the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Person, seconded by Mr. Pavoni, that this ordinance be adopted as read. Requires a roll call. Mr. Corman. Aye. Mr. Pavoni. Aye. Ms. Perez. Aye. Mr. McIrvin. Aye. Ms. Switchy. Aye. Mr. Person. Aye. Mr. Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. You guys have it. Okay, the next ordinance is regarding uh, business license fee change changes. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 553 of Chapter 5, Business Licenses of Title V, Finance and Business Regulations of City Code, increasing the business license registration fee to $150. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Person. I move the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Person, seconded by Mr. Pavoni, that this ordinance be adopted as read and requires a roll call. Mr. Corman? Aye. Mr. Pavoni? Aye. Uh, Ms. Perez? Aye. Mr. McIrvin. Aye. Ms. Switchy. Aye. Mr. Person. Aye. Mr. Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. The ayes have it. Okay, the next uh, ordinance is regarding uh, garbage rates. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending Section 8110 of Chapter 1, Garbage of Title 8, Health and Sanitation of City Code, <clears throat> relating to year 2017 and 2018 services and utility rates for all customer classes. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. McIrvin. I move that the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. Been moved by Mr. McIrvin, second by Ms. Witchy, that this ordinance be adopted as read and requires a roll call. Okay, Mr. Corman. Aye. Mr. Pavoni. Aye. Ms. Perez. Aye. Mr. McIrvin. Aye. Ms. Switchy. Aye. Mr. Person. Aye. Mr. Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. The ayes have it. Second, sorry. Okay, the next ordinance is regarding rate changes for for utilities. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending sections 822 and 823 of Chapter 2, Storm and Surface Water Drainage, sections 8412, 8424, and 8431 of Chapter 4, Water, and section 8515 of Chapter 5, Sewers of Title 8, Health and Sanitation of City Code, establishing utility rates for 2017 and 2018. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. McIrvin. I move that the ordinance be adopted as read. Second. It's been moved by Mr. McIrvin, seconded by Ms. Witchy, that this ordinance be adopted as read, and that requires a roll call. Hey, Mr. Corman. Aye. Mr. Bravoni. Aye. Ms. Perez. Aye. Mr. McIrvin. Aye. Ms. Switchy. Aye. Mr. Person. Aye. Mr. Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. You guys have it. Okay, the next ordinance is uh, adopting the 2017-2018 budget. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, adopting the biennial budget for the years 2017-2018 in the amounts of $242,349,558 and $233,358,706, respectively. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Corman. I move adoption of the ordinance as read. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Corman and seconded by Mr. Pavoni that this ordinance be adopted as read. Requires a roll call. Hey, Mr. Corman. Aye. Mr. Pavoni. <clears throat> Aye. Ms. Perez. Aye. Mr. McIrvin. Aye. Ms. Switchy. Aye. Mr. Person. Aye. Mr. Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. You guys have it. And Jan and Jamie are here in the audience to answer questions on the budget. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> you're off the hook tonight. All right. The final ordinance is uh, amending the 2016 budget. An ordinance of the City of Renton, Washington, amending the City of Renton fiscal years 2015-2016 biennial budget as adopted by ordinance number 5737 and thereafter amended by ordinance numbers 5755, 5764, 5777, 5789, and 5808 in the amount of $9,233,273. Oh. 
Mr. Mayor? Yes, Mr. Corman. I move adoption of the ordinance as read. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Corman, seconded by Mr. Pavoni that this ordinance be adopted as read and requires a roll call. Hey, Mr. Corman. Aye. Mr. Pavoni. Aye. Ms. Perez. Aye. Mr. McIrvin. Aye. Ms. Switchy. Aye. Mr. Person. Aye. Mr. Prince. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. The ayes have it. Thank you very much, Jason. Moving on to new business, Mr. Corman. All right. First, a congratulation to the mayor and uh, everybody that works with you and to the council for actually having a new budget in place now. Thank you. And um, our, to, um, to celebrate, we get to take an extra uh, Monday off as a result. <laughs> um, it also makes sense um, to cancel. So we'll be canceling um, the council meeting of Monday, November 28th. There's also only three work days between this council meeting and that one. So um, I think it makes a lot of sense to, to cancel that. Um, one of those days, by the way, is Thursday when the normal agenda packets are um, prepared. So this will work better. Um, so with that, I would, um, I think I need a, maybe I need a motion. I would move that the council uh, cancel the November 28th council meeting. Second. It's been moved by Mr. Corman, seconded by Mr. Person. That Council Council the November 28th uh, council meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, and then I'll just announce that um, we will not have a committee of the whole meeting that night either. And um, I think that's it, Mr. Oh, Mayor. No. Oh. Nope. For the fifth. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for watching out for me. Right, and because we won't be here then, I need to go ahead and make the announcements for the fifth. Uh, for December 5th, uh, there will be a committee of the whole meeting at 5.30 p.m. Here in council chambers, three items on the agenda. The first is 2017 legislative priorities. The second item is inclusion update. And the third item is communications division project update. And that's all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Pavoni. Yes, Mr. Mayor, the public safety committee uh, scheduled for Monday, November 28th will be canceled. Okay. That is all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, uh, Ms. Perez. Yes, Mr. Mayor, thank you. On Monday, December 5th at 4 p.m., the Transportation Committee will meet at, uh, in the Council Conference Room, and there are four items in the agenda. First, sunset and Monroe traffic, traffic control. The second, installation of ADA sidewalk ramps at Northwest 4th Street and Taylor Avenue. Third, trails and bicycle master plan update professional services agreement. And four will be the emerging issues in transportation. That will be it. Thank you, Mr. Okay, thank you. Mr. McIrvin. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The, uh, you just want to announce that the Utilities Committee will be meeting on Monday, December 5th at 5 p.m. in the Council Conference Room. Uh, two items on the agenda, uh, leak adjustment code update, and the second item is release of easement request for Meadowcrest Early Learning Center. That is all, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Ms. Witchy. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, Mr. Person. Yes, Mr. Mayor. The Finance Committee meeting scheduled for November 28th will be canceled. Instead, we will have a Finance Committee meeting on December 5th at 3 p.m. in the Council Conference Room. We have four topics, vouchers, a Caterpillar 926M wheel loader purchase. That should be interesting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to test drive it? I get to test drive it yeah. or we're not buying it, right? <laughs> I'll just park my car on another level that night. <laughs> <laughs> I think you you almost like you want to park it in Kent if I get to drive it. <laughs> anyway, the 2017 LTAC funding recommendations and four is merging issues and revenue streams. That's it. Okay, thank you. Mr. Prince. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Okay. So wish to the council. Move we adjourn. Second. Second. And moved by Mr. Prince, second by Mr. Corman that we adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Have a great Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you. You too.